How's it going guys? Flickfy here with another installment of my Road to Glory series. Today I think we're up to episode 5 and as I mentioned in my last channel update, I did go ahead and switch around my editing style just because I was getting a little bit bored of my former editing style. So please leave a comment on your thoughts on how I did and maybe any improvements that you think I could make. So from here, we're just going to continue on with the episode and we do start with by opening a couple of bronze packs just so we can get some contracts and go ahead and selling some of those players, hopefully. And we go into the first match here against Madrid FC and Madrid FC does have a pretty nice team. You know, we are in division four and we're coming across some tougher teams or actually I think we might still be in division five so we do come across a tough Brazilian team you know probably as good as it can get uh, without the fact that they might have some informed players but Hulk does manage to get the one no lead there for themselves in the six minutes so a good goal from him and a nice pass by Ronaldinho who did perform really well and pretty much my game plan in this game is going ahead and getting corners and that is really where our team excels against these goal teams because I don't know what it is but this team is just immense on corners you know we've got players like Hansen who is just a beast on corners he's so tall and his heading stat is just so good and there he actually gets on the board in the 17th minute to make it two to one in our favor and I was pretty happy with that I didn't really expect that we'd go ahead and do well against this team but Ronaldinho is going to tie things up with a nice bit of skill and a nice bit of dribbling to make it two to two in the 24th minute and they weren't done yet there guys Rafinha is going to get the ball on the edge and he's going to be looking for Robinho in on the cross goes near post with it and Robinho with a really skillful volley to make it uh, three to two in the 32nd minute and he does his signature dance to celebrate and here is really going to be probably the one of the poorest saves that I've seen in quite a while. Rafinha is going to do kind of a weak shot, and I don't really know what our keeper was doing. Could have been my fault by bringing him out. But from here, we really had to start giving our team a pep talk. And I had to talk to the team at halftime, inspire them to go ahead and get some goals. And here, a bad mistake from our opponent. And Hansen's going to make him pay. He's going to get it off to Graham. And we are going to make it 3-4 to four at this point. And we were looking to make the comeback at this point with the epic music going in the background. We get a corner here, and it's going to be Lucio who's going to try to defend it but it's Insalia who gets it right over the keeper to tie things up in the 70th minute and we were not done there guys O'Connor's gonna find Mero and Mero's gonna have a go music's gonna come to a stop and what a shot from him our team's gonna be celebrating after that one in the 78th minute and we were just gonna coast our way to victory after that guys getting the 5-4 to four victory and I was just so happy with that comeback really didn't see that coming and just the long shots and the goals that we managed to score I knew after we started getting a couple goals that we had the momentum and he had no way that he was going to stop it so here I think I just took a day break from playing and we managed to sell quite a few bronze players which is really nice and I think due to the MLS cup going on I managed to sell these uh, uh, MLS bronze players for 200 coins which is really cool to see and uh, yeah we just go ahead and pick up a 4-3-3 card right here for pretty Pretty expensive amount 4,000 coins is a lot for a formation card but that was the cheapest buy now in the market and I just couldn't be bothered with the the bids usually when you find the cheapest buy now it's usually cheaper sometimes it's not but we also pick up a center defensive mid to a center mid card for our Mero I think is the name of him and we're gonna stick it on those players so this will put us at full chemistry which is nice to see gonna put it on Mero and he's gonna be getting the center mid role now and we should be able to sell him off for quite a bit I hope you know, there's not really not too many of him on the market, so I feel like if I go ahead and put him up, we'll be able to make a profit. Same goes with Wells. There wasn't too many 4-3-3s for cheap, so I feel like we can maybe get our coins back despite having to pay quite a bit for those formation cards. And we go into the next match here against Portland FC, who also has a pretty nice team. It's going with a 4-2-3-1 formation with Torres up front, Suarez behind, Nasri and Jarred up front as well. And here we just get shot after shot, and I know you guys know how this feels. You just seem to be dominating your opponent, but you just can't seem to get on the board. And that was the case for me this game. And here my opponent's going to get his first opportunity, and guess what? He's going to score it with Suarez. Just managed to dribble around my entire defense and somehow managed to get that one in the back of the net on his first shot on goal. And that's really frustrating to see, but there's not much you can do about it that's just how the game goes sometimes and unfortunately we went into halftime down one to nil so we were looking to turn things around the second half and O'Connor does really well to turn the defender there and blast one by Joe Hart I think's the keeper but here in the 90th minute Typical stuff for FIFA, you know, it seems like those 90 minute and 45th minute goals seem to happen quite a bit. And some might say I got trolled. I don't know if it really makes a difference, but, you know, it's definitely could be, I don't know, change in the future for different games. It really does seem like momentum has a lot to do with FIFA, and I wish that wasn't the case sometimes. But hey, that's how the game goes, and it is still a fun game when you're having a good time with it. So here, we're going to go into the last game of the episode, and we start things off really well, and this team was a lot easier than the other two teams. I mean, the other teams that we played were Brazilian and a full BPL team. This one only has 67 chemistry, and Wells, I think, managed to 
to get that goal due to the chemistry reasons. You know, the defenders and goalkeepers just could not get the ball off his feet. And it's nice to see Wells at the full chemistry. He seemed to play a lot better this game. And he did get his first goal there in the match uh, really easily there in the first half. So here we're going to send in a cross from Long. And Long is going to find Wells, actually. Not really his kind of game. That's really Hansen's game. But Wells did manage to get a nice header and a great cross from Long to go ahead and give us a 2-0 lead. McLaughlin here on the wing is going to finesse this one right around the keeper. Beautiful finesse shot. Really FIFA 12-esque. And we have a 3-0 lead at this point. And we were not done there, guys. I really wanted to get a lot of goals in this game. I was a little frustrated after that last game. And Graham's going to run the ball down the wing. And he's going to be looking for Wells yet again. And another great header from him. Just getting it on the opposite direction that the keeper was going. And we get the 4-0 win there. So here I'm going to ask you guys a quick question and that question is uh, do you guys want me to continue with this bronze and power league two team or do you want me to move on to the and power league one team uh, basically just leave a comment below on what you want me to do and I'll be doing whatever you guys think I should be doing so I hope you guys did enjoy this episode be sure to leave a comment on what you want me to do and if you enjoyed the episode be sure to leave a like rating and subscribe if you haven't already anyways this has been Flickfy I'll be talking to you guys again soon